home this weekend after a fire at an apartment complex on the east side. The fire forcing crews to shut off power and tenants had to move out. Carly Van Cleef talking with those residents about how they're coping just before Christmas. Yeah, Seth, luckily no one was seriously hurt in that fire, but so many families have to find a warm place to stay for the holidays. A holiday without a home. That's the reality for dozens of people living at this apartment complex on the east side. A unit at the East Livingston Avenue complex went up in flames Saturday morning and quickly spread to the attic of the building. Sean Price had just walked to the store. Came back and my stuff's on fire. When he returned, his apartment unit was up in flames. He tells us he lost everything. I don't really don't know what I'll, have. I'll do. The Red Cross is going to help us out, but I, I don't know what I'll do. The Whitehall Division of Fire was able to get the fire under control quickly. One person was rushed to the hospital, but they're expected to be okay. Joshua Leonard says he was shocked when he saw the flames. I was just sitting at home chilling and all of a sudden someone's knocking on the door. Fire, fire, fire. Due to the power being shut off, firefighters tell us for safety, the entire building had to be evacuated, forcing families to move out. The American Red Cross was there to help. But as soon as I was outside, the fire just bellowing and big. Another resident, Thomas Dalton, says it's been difficult to come to terms with it all. Uh, but a lot of people are misplaced right now. He says he's grateful for the help they've gotten and he's keeping hope for his next steps. What's something that's giving you hope today? Well, just the fact that we're all alive. And uh, it, it's, it's just amazing to see how a community will come together. Well, firefighters still aren't sure exactly what caused this fire at this time, but we'll be sure to keep everyone updated. Carly Van Cleve, ABC 6 News. Seth. Thanks, Carly. Now, for some.